Hey guys, so this is just a little bit of an off the cuff video. I just wanted to do, um, and that was a chair squeak and not me uh, passing wind. Um, <laughs> so I just wanted to do a little bit of a kind of like a deep dive into some people's sort of social media pages. Um, there's some more content coming your way um, just to obviously help to pick this, but I want to show you just the value of obviously investing into content. So I'm on my good friend here, Charlie Johnson's page, um, and you'll hear a lot more about him in the future. He, um, the reason why I'm showing you his page is he actually really excels in social media and content. He's the hardest working guy I've ever met in terms of the content, the reach, and the, just the growth he's trying to like kind of grow. Um, and the results he gets are absolutely phenomenal. And I know you as a personal trainer, you're gonna be mainly looking for results, getting answers, solutions, and actually just making your business better because don't we all wanna have a better business? Um, so the main thing that Charlie does really well is, well, the first thing he does really well is he doesn't try and do it all himself. He can't take photos, film himself, sell, um, try and do everything in one go. Sure, you can get your phone out and go, hey, it's Ben Mark here, I've got five opportunities coming up in March at a certain gym, but you know, I can do that, everyone can do that. However, to get really quality content that really stands out, he gets other people to do it. Now, is it in his benefit to have all this great content that he can post? Of course it is. Like, you know, if his page looks good, if he looks better, why wouldn't he do it? So he obviously invests into having photographers and videographers take photos of him. Obviously I've shot with him quite a few times to then actually grow his brand. If you look at the picture here, you can see like I shot this of him. It's something different, it stands out, it makes him pop, it makes him look good. Then he has other like training videos here where he's obviously training, getting a good workout in, see people seeing him actually doing what he preaches that he does. It kind of gives that social proof of like, he's actually like a person that does what he says he's gonna do. Then he's got tons of results on his page and you'll see that you'll be able to follow on to his post and you'll see lots of content of him showing people who have committed to his training and his plans and actually getting results. Charlie does a very, very different programs where he does like proper constant online training or he does like the eight week shred, which is just like a kind of go all in and just try and get the best results in a short, short amount of time. Plus, plus Charlie does lots of things like IGTV videos where he's then giving you training content and ideas, but it's not just that short form, like, you know, there's a lot more like explanation into it. There's a lot more graphics that go involved. He's trying to create so much valuable content for people that because he's constantly sharing images and he's constantly putting people out there and tagging people, he's just finding more and more people all the time to then work with him, get more results, and then he's growing more and more and more and more. And his account just keeps growing and keeps growing. Like, you know, it wasn't too long ago, he was just under 200,000 followers. Now he's at 218,000 followers and that will just keep growing because he's always putting out great images that make him look good, make him obviously show the level of work that he's putting into achieving his desired results, plus then the impact he's having on everyone else. And it just shows you just how well this system works. I know what kind of rough figures Charlie's earning, and to most of that's probably like 10 people, you know, 10 full-time personal trainers in the gym, he's probably covering all of their wages in one person. So it kind of proves that the impact that you can have by just putting out loads and loads of valuable content. Uh, the other people I'd like to talk to you about is, I'm going to go on to Ellie's page. So I shot with Ellie for the first time nearly two years ago, I think. Um, and Ellie was literally like a st stiff as a bean, like uh, stiff as a bean, stiff as a plank of wood. Like she just was very like kind of nervous in herself. She'd never really like pushed herself to that level. Um, and so I shot with her, um, quite, it was quite a while ago. and she was really kind of growing with things and like she clearly had quite a good following in the sense of um the people that were following her were really interested and she put like she's a great cook like she's always putting great pictures up of her food and bits that she's made and she's obviously clearly got a good eye for what she's posting and what she's putting out when i met ellie she had under ten thousand followers in two years she's now grown to one hundred and twenty six thousand followers got multiple brand deals um you know, she gets like she's come away to Portugal with me, and we like sold photo shoot spaces to go on an amazing trip. She puts out great content, clear images that show her off looking good, show her food off looking good. She's got obviously training bits in there as well, and there's plenty of these where you can then see, like you know, a picture of her, and then it clicks onto like her doing the workout, so you can see her actually putting the effort in to do these things. Once again, it's showing people that by doing all these things, you can make yourself look good. And she's very, very good at doing that. All of her food looks incredible because clearly she's a good cook, far better than I'll ever be. But she just it spends a lot of time investing on herself, putting herself in good places, taking nice photos, teaming up with people to actually create this content and actually make herself look as good as she can. And if she can grow that for herself in two years, whilst, I mean, she's also, 
I can't remember what she's training. It was some sort of like um, um, doctor type thing. Like, you know, she's actually like really clever and intelligent, Ellie, and she's going to go quite far with herself. And you can see by just the level of content that she puts out, her personal training business is also very successful too. I then want to obviously then show you someone else that you'll see later on in the uh, these emails is a good friend of mine, Adam. Now Adam's got not too far off the same following as me, um, yet I can promise you that he's probably earning three times the amount of the average personal trainer out there, if not five times the amount of what an average personal trainer is. Adam isn't someone who necessarily kind of like shows off his figure and his, his shape all the time. He's not the most confident in front of the camera, like he, he doesn't like doing this type of thing. But what he does do really well is shows his place in the market off very well. He's very good at kind of showing results, proving that he's winning and he's doing things and he's achieving things. Plus he's not scared to kind of actually you know, show the fact that he's not the most confident on camera. Like, you know, he's not the one that's picking up the camera and doing all of this all the time. He, like, he does it occasionally, but not often. But he's had to fight himself to be able to do that. And I know, for example, I've been in his car, I was there with him when he bought his Lamborghini. You don't go doing that if you're not succeeding with things. The reason why social con media content is so good is it allows people to see what you do. Yes, you can put a sugar coating on all of it and make yourself look good. The results really will stand out behind the closed doors if you're actually getting stuff and you're actually being successful. If you're not very good at getting results, if you haven't got the training yet, that doesn't mean you won't have it, but actually investing into the content that you put out will bring people in so then you can learn more. You can try working with different body types, with different ages, different sexes, whatever it is you want to do to then get results. You need to draw people in. People don't know that you don't know as much as some other people have been doing it for 10 years. But at the same time, you'll never get to that 10 year point if you don't put the content out that you know and the advice you've already got. You may find in five, 10 years that that content actually wasn't correct, but at the time you didn't know any different. I don't know any different sometimes. And then I look and I go, why did I post that four years ago? But actually, because at that time, that was what I knew. So don't be scared of that. Like that will happen. You just got to swallow it. Not everyone's perfect. The amount of people have put out results and they go, why did I even post that? Why did I post a video of this? Why did I do that? It's because they are who they are and they weren't scared to be who they are and find out the right ways of doing these things. Um, the other side of social media is you just want to make things relatable. Like the easier it is to see what you can achieve or like what tips you can get off someone makes you think, oh, actually, I'm quite interested in that program that they're launching. Or like me as a photographer, if someone's got like a really good tutorial pack on how to, you know, edit photos quicker or like, you know, certain kind of modifications with doing video, like transitions and stuff like that. If it's going to speed me up and make my workflow better, then maybe I am interested. I'll watch it and go, actually, that's worth my time. That payment there it will actually speed my videos up, make them look better. I'm interested in it. So I just want to like point out that you know you can be varied in social media. Like you know you can put out high end content. You need to put out high end content, and it also just uh, will elevate your brand as well. What you've got to realise is is that I only post great photos because I want people to know me as a good photographer. If I post loads of iPhone photos all the time, people think, oh, actually, he's not really as good as what he says he is. And why has he got a five thousand pound camera when he's just using his iPhone? If I'm a good photographer, I can use any camera. But at the same time, I, the reason why I've invested in camera setups like this is so that then I come across as the very best. So when you invest with me, you realise, actually, I'm working with someone who's going places and doing things. I want to be associated with that because that's who I am and that's what I want to elevate to people. All the time you're scared to show it off and you're scared to kind of push yourself. You're just limiting yourself back from what you can actually achieve with your business. And that's, that's the, the thing. When you're open with these things and share it, People see it and they're like, wow, this person's brilliant. Like he's doing load, he's growing, she's actually like really changed, her confidence has grown, she's talking more, she's giving me more advice. I want to follow that person. Oh, actually, if you've got a good sales plan, now I follow that person. Oh, actually, wow, look, you know, I might have to get in touch with Emily. She's putting out some really good content. I want to know more about that. And then you reach out to them and say, hey, look, you know, I can help you get results. This is a client that I worked with before. This is someone like this. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear more about your journey and where you'd like to go, see if we can be a good fit to work together. Instantly, suddenly you've given people an easy approach to then work with you. It's not just kind of buy my sales, buy my content, buy, like, you know, buy my workout plan. You're actually saying, I can help you, I can solve your problems by putting out content that allows them to see actually you've got a wide range of knowledge and you're not scared to be you. So I hope this little like kind of video helps, just like a little bit extra from me. but. Just look at the rest of this page with what Charlie does. Charlie like really is killing it and he's probably the most productive and hardest working and like financially earning the most of anyone that I know in the fitness industry. 
and he's killing it just for the fact that he just is relentless with putting out good content. So I hope this helps. Please, if you have got any more questions, just email me back uh, onto the, upon this email. Or if you do actually want to book a shoot in, like I said before, there's a link at the bottom and you can pick your date and get your shoot booked in.